I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question. It is from my student. And in this question, you're going to learn how to relate linear distance number of rotations with the angle of rotation. The question here is, a can rolls a distance of three meters down the hallway. Given it has a diameter of six centimeters, determine the angle of rotation in degrees. Mind it, you have to write answer in degrees, right? So let us first try to understand the question. So let's say this is the can which rolls down the hallway and the distance covered is three meters. Now since the units for diameter is centimeter, it is good practice to convert the units. So three meters, let's write this as 300 centimeters, right? Diameter given to us is six centimeters correct so we have same units now now when we say that the distance covered is three and centimeters what it means it really means that if you consider a point here on the can then as the can rolls this point moves along and it covers a distance of 300 centimeters horizontally or a linear distance right now so we have a linear distance which let me call as s equals to 300 centimeters we just converted three meters to centimeters right how is it related with number of rotations now diameter for the can is six centimeter and that means that one particular rotation will move it how much equal to the circumference right which is pi times d pi times diameter or we can say 6 pi so 6 pi let's say that is 6 pi is the distance covered in one rotations so if it rolls 300 centimeters how many rotations are there so we say let us say that n is number of rotations right if n is number of rotations then how many of these will be there within this distance of 300 centimeters that is how we are thinking right so of course i have to divide 300 by 6 pi since 300 is the total distance and one rotation means 6 pi so when i divide 300 by 6 pi let's keep it in pi itself that's an exact answer 300 divided by 6 3 goes 30 is 5 times 6, so we can write this as 50 over pi. So that is the number of rotations. Okay. Now if we know that we have number of rotations as 50 over pi, then we can write down the angle in rotations, right? So if these is the total number of rotations, then how much is the angle of rotation? Now, the question is asking for angle of rotation in degrees, right? So if one rotation is how much? One rotation is equals to 360 degrees. Now we have 50 over pi rotations. Therefore, total angle of rotation is how much? Is 360 degrees times 50 over pi. So that is the answer, right? So we will keep it in pi itself. Let's multiply 360 by 50. So it is 5 times 6, two zeros because of these twos. 6 times 5 is 33. 5 times 3, 1800, right? Now there could be a variation to this question. And the variation could be find rotation in, let us say, radians, right? So we can find angle in radiations, uh, radians also, angle in radians, how much? So we know number of rotations is n, and let's say theta will be how much? n times 2 pi, since one rotation in radians is equals to 2 pi radians, is that okay? So in that case, the answer will be 50 over pi times 2 pi that is 100 100 radians so in radians the answer will be 100 radians 
However, in this question, we are interested in determining angle of rotation in degrees. So that is the answer, right? So that is how you're going to solve it. So I hope you understand how to convert linear distance into number of rotations into angle. Now this angle could be in degrees or in radians. So this is a very good question. You should have a good look at it so that you understand how to solve similar questions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.